I've been using the Spectra Pro page builder plugin on my websites for the last couple of months, and I've been getting to know it really well. So I thought it was about time that I shared with you what I like about the plugin and what I don't like so much about the plugin. So I guess this is my Spectra Pro review. If you're not familiar with the Spectra Page Builder plugin, it's, well, it's a plugin that gives you page builder functionality. So that gives you things like extra blocks that you can use when you're creating posts and pages. It's got forms built in. It's got a pop-up builder built in. It basically just makes WordPress a lot better. There is a free version available. If you want to test it out, you can add that just by going into the plugins area on your WordPress website, clicking add new and then doing a search for Spectra. But the pro version adds a whole load of extra functionality and it's the version that I'm going to be talking about in this video. If you want to go and check out the pro version, I'll put a link up now and you'll also find a link in the description. It is an affiliate link, so thanks very much if you use it. So let's start with what I like. The first thing is it's fast. Page builders have got a reputation for slowing down your website, but I've been testing it through Google PageSpeed Score without any optimization plugins or anything like that. And it's scoring pretty high. It's, it's in the eighties, which is, is very acceptable. And on desktop, it's even higher. It's in the nineties. And of course, with a little bit of optimization, you can squeeze some more out of those scores. The second thing I like is the templates. Spectra is packed full of different templates, whether they're just for individual elements that you want to add to a page or a post, or maybe you want to add a complete page layout. It's got you covered there. Or maybe you want to create an entire site and take a look at these. There's loads of professionally designed layouts and designs that you can just simply add to your website with the click of a button. The third thing that I really like about Spectra is the extra blocks that it adds to WordPress. I mean, the default page builder that comes with WordPress, the block editor, well, it has a few decent blocks, but nothing like the ones that you get with Spectra. Just take a look. You can see that there's loads of extra blocks there that you can use to create some wonderful content. Some of my favorites include the icon lists, the calls to action. There's one for star ratings. You've got an FAQ in there. There's a carousel for posts. It's got so many cool blocks that just you'll wonder how you ever kind of live without them, how you were getting by with just the default blocks that come with WordPress. And of course, these are theme independent. You're not tied to any particular theme. You can use them with well any theme that you like. The fourth thing that I like is the pop-up builder. Now, you used to have to install extra plugins to get pop-up functionality, but with Spectra, it's built in. And in fact, I did a tutorial just the other day on how to create a pop-up with Spectra, and it turned out really well. I was really pleased with the end result. So it's perfect if you're looking to build your email list, or maybe you've got some other offer that you want to promote. You can do it really easily with the Spectra plugin. The fifth thing that I like about Spectra is that it's got forms built in. Again, this is something that you'd have to install another plugin for, but with Spectra, yeah, they're there right there in the plugin. You can just drag them into your content, configure them, and start getting messages from your website via a form really easily. And this is actually a really good thing. Reducing the number of plugins that you need to install on your website is a good thing because we all know that more plugins mean that your site's gonna slow down and no one wants a slow website. The final thing that I like about Spectra is the uh, container block, which has got Flex built in, which enables you to create some really cool layouts. This is something that's missing within the core WordPress block editor, but with Flex, you can create some really fantastic layouts just by playing around, dropping elements into different locations and adjusting how they lay themselves out. I've been playing around with it for quite a while and it's really cool the kind of things that you can do with it. So let's talk about a couple of things that I don't like about the Spectra plugin. The first is that it does use the native block layer interface. So if you're not a web development kind of person, you may struggle a little bit with using it. It's not like some of the other page builders that have a very visual interface in terms of how you put things together. This just uses the block editor. So I like the block editor because I've been using it for quite some time, but if you're brand new to website design, it might be a little bit too much for you. 
And that leads me on to my second slightly negative thing about Spectra, and that is the learning curve might be a little bit too steep for some of you. It does take a little bit of playing around to get used to how everything works. And there is quite a lot of options with regards to the blocks and the templates and just the settings overall. So the learning curve may be a little bit steep, but if you've ever built something with WordPress before, I'm sure you'll be fine. Just give it a little bit of time, click around, watch some tutorials, and you should be mastering Spectra within no time. So in conclusion, I would highly recommend that you give Spectra a try. Why not try out the free version to start with, see how you get on, and then as you progress and build more complex things, you might find that you need to upgrade to the pro version. And remember, there's a link in the description. Really appreciate it if you use it. Have you tried out Spectra yet? I'd love to know your thoughts and comments on it. Do leave me a comment below. I do read all the comments that I get. Or maybe you're using a different page builder. Let me know what that is and, and why you like it and why you're using it. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and remember to avoid missing out on future live streams and videos, click the subscribe button. But until next time, good luck with your sites. See you later.